Whoop. Oh, ah, bow. All right, y'all, so I turned my Mojave into brushless. Just had a couple days off, so happy belated 4th of July to you guys. But anyway, this is a 6100 kV motor, and it comes with the motor and ESC. So big shout out to Gap A to Z Reviews. Him and I talked to us about a week ago about this, and he recommended this system. And he said run it on 2S on his best on 2S. 3S is going to be a lot, and it starts to overheat. But you guys see that this kind of fits right in there it's a direct fit for it the motor shaft is a 2.3 so you don't have to worry about that so i'll put a link below in the description for it then i'm also using just a standard uh radio from spectrum from there because i just want to keep that as it was and you guys see there you don't have to actually remove like so you for some of the other vehicles remove that two in one speed control there you can leave that in there and be good with that and then mount this on top i did think about mounting it down there um but it will you have to I just wanted to put these wires on it, long story short. And I didn't want to have to go in and cut this where that fan actually slides down in there. Because I may go back to brush and I may want to put that fan back on there uh, for that. So for the ESC, I just put it on this side. I mentioned to you guys before, there's a lot of room in here, which is good. So I didn't have to worry about trying to mount the ESC down here and trimming all that down. It mounts right on here on the side of the battery. And this is actually an 1800 milliamp 2S LiPo. So I'll leave links in the description to the whole system. I did it before, but I'll leave it down there. And they got a 4800, I think, or a 4100 too. So I'll leave links to both of the systems down there. And the battery is just kind of one that comes in. Some DRC or WL2 cars and stuff. And it fits right in there. And I have to worry about changing out connectors and stuff. Because this comes with a Dean's connector. And these batteries come with Dean's connector. And you can also use some of these. This is one from DRC. This is a 1500. And the one I got in here is an 1800. So I may bring this with me. Because not only are we going to speed test it, we're also going to bash it. So let me go ahead. Let me get this body on here. Let me quit my yapping. There we go, and take this out, and let's speed test it. All right, y'all, we are gonna just do a speed run with this brushless, and then we'll take it off road at another time, because I've got a couple things I have to do today, but I definitely wanna at least start this out and try this brushless to see if the $40, or it's gonna be about 50 if you get the battery too spent, is worth it to go brushless. Definitely, definitely has more pickup, of course, because it's brushless. This thing's gonna be crazy off road, and I gotta watch all them little bumps down there. Take this, let me do something real quick. Okay, I thought I had got that right, my steering trim was off, but anyway, we got that one pass, and I'm gonna take it down one more time. But I wanna see what we got. We got 22 stock out the box brushed. So let's see what we got brushless. 35. That is not bad at all. Not bad at all. 13 more miles. So I think that's actually worth it. Uh, make sure I start that back up. And we'll go down one more time. Make sure we can get this going. Probably should have found a smoother area, but we'll be good. Truck is cruising, actually good full pass so 3s this is going to be ridiculous all right let's see what we got on that pass if we beat that 35 miles per hour get this and read this 42 oh that is interesting we're going to take this down one more time because we went up uh 20 miles per hour with that. <laughs> Maybe this battery needed to wake up. Look at that. I was good with 35, y'all. But 42? We're good with that. Bring this on back down. Can you see him? Mighty Mouse coming down. Oh, ah, bow right into something probably lost the gps too <laughs> all right looks like gps is still on there which is good that's the one thing about trying to go brushless in this area this is not the best area for testing these smaller cars for speed because it's not really smooth but anyway let's see if we beat that 42 miles per hour i doubt it but if we gain an extra mile or two we'd be good 
All right, 42 miles per hour. So that's what I got. That is actually worth it. A um, little bit of clogging somewhat, let's see. Because it has a 19-2 pinion gear in it. So I don't know if you want to go smaller with it, but I'll get this out later today or tomorrow and take this off-road. We'll run it off-road and then we'll check the temperatures on it and see if it's tough enough to survive running off-road 2S brushes. 3S is going to be way too much, guys. But if you're just doing probably a straight pass, it'd probably be good with that. But right now, I'm going to leave it as it is. We're going to take this off-road. So don't forget to like, subscribe, stay tuned for the next video. As always, I appreciate you guys watching.